Hello and welcome to this video where we are going to take a brief look at the Mutant Year Zero module for Virtual Tabletop, the Foundry Virtual Tabletop. This is a module that is a premium content. It's bought from uh, Free League Webshop and uh, it contains the Year Zero core rulebook in digital format for, uh, for Foundry. And uh, apart from containing everything in the core rulebook, it also contains role tables and macros that will uh, facilitate for you when uh, playing the Mutant Year Zero. So let's take a look. Uh, I should also say in this video, we will not go through any rules on how to play Mutant. We will just check what's in the module. So in here, uh, you can see the module contains 236 journal entries, core, uh, complete core rules, events, threats, special zones, and the Path of Eden scenario. That's the scenario that's included in the in the core rule book. Then we have 271 item entries. That's armor, weapons, artifacts, talents, arc projects, and more. We have 78 actor entries, named and generic actors as mutants, threats, and monsters. We have 15 roll tables. Uh, we will check them later. Uh, the third, there are 13 scenes, five special zone sectors, two sample zones, and uh, there are a zone generator macro, and uh, I will explain that later. Image and journal handouts for the Path of Eden scenario and 97 tokens created from the book art and generic creature name tokens for creatures not depicted in the book. Well, that's it. So let's dive into the module and uh, take a look at it. This is what meets us when we open the uh, module for the first time. This is a welcome screen, the beautiful art from the cover of the book. And then we also have a welcome text here. And uh, this text will uh, introduce you to the module. It will introduce you to scenes, the items, the journals, and also to tables, macros, and tokens. Tokens are portraits, portraits that are used in different, uh, both items and characters. So the characters, all the characters in the game are, does not have portraits, but some do. We will see that later. So this I recommend to read first. And then we will go to this section. I will just empty this for you to um, see what is happening up here. In the, this column here on the right, there are several tabs. The first tab on the left is a chat log. That's where all your dice rolls and messages will appear, both as a player and a game master. Then we have the combat tracker. Here things will appear when you are in a combat. It can be uh, the uh, initiative order and uh, your um, not your dice rolls. They are appearing here, but it can uh, your status and damage and so on will be shown here. Then we have the next tab here. It's called the scenes directory. And here are a lot of scenes and uh, I won't show you all of them because there can be information that you should not see before playing it if you are a player. Uh, so I don't want to spoil anything. In here we have the Ark Beach cruise ship. That's your home base in many, many um, times. And here we have the Ark Scrap Fortress. And for example, if you uh, activate the Ark Scrap Fortress, as I have done earlier, 
they are shown up here. Here is here, these bars are what you as a game master have activated and you can choose what the players can see and what they cannot see. So here we have first the welcome screen and then we have the new this um, arc scrap fortress. And you can zoom and tilt around in this. Here you can also put on fog of war and uh, you can put the tokens out here and uh, in some cases if you have maps where you, you want your characters to explore things you uh, you can you can also put their tokens out here and also the fog of war will follow the tokens so it's kind of a kind of a nice system here but this one is just a it's like a sketch over this arc scrap fortress well, so that was the uh, scenes directory. Let's go over to the actors directory. Here we have all the characters in the game. Humanoids, monsters, named NPCs, and typical NPCs. Those typical NPCs you can take and uh, you can make new characters from them. You just duplicate them and give them a new name and you can use them in your uh, adventures. The humanoids, for example, as you can see, some of them have a portrait, the, the token that we talked about earlier, and some of them just have text in their, in their portrait um, space. Let's check out the cannibal, for example. Here we have a cannibal with a portrait, and this is the character sheet of this cannibal, this uh, person this character and uh, we see here we have armor rating and that will rise when you have armor then here you have weapons you have strength agility wits empathy and you have also um, a um, section here for attributes fight move and you can uh, also have uh, you also have some uh, some kind of background information and stuff here. So these are uh, tabs for this character sheet. So if I want to roll, for example, on fight, I roll on fight. I see here I have five base dice, two in skill because I have two here, and I make the roll. And as you can see, there are some 3D dice. Those are nice. Those are not, the 3D dice are not uh, automatically inside the module. You have to install the free module Dice So Nice to get them. But it's beautiful because uh, it will be shown on all players' screens. And it's, uh, I really like them very much. And after the roll, it will appear here as a bubble what you have uh, rolled and uh, this this roll then okay uh, armor for example you can take armor from the uh, let's go over to the um, items section items directory here in armor you have different kinds of armor well, you can add much more armor if you want and you can add your own but if you for example uh, want to have a Kevlar vest, this cannibal, give him a Kevlar vest. You give him that and you see up here in the armor rating, it will raise until six. Okay. So it's very easy to add stuff to the characters from here. Let's keep him open and uh, let's progress here. In the uh, items list you have arc projects armor artifacts a lot of them critical injuries mutations skill mutant and the talents mutant and uh, this you can add to the character by just dragging and dropping the next section here we have is the journal entry. And this is more or less the entire 
core rule book. Here we have sections for each chapter in the book. Here is the player section and here is the game master section. And the game master section, you have information that I won't show you because uh, you probably, you might be a player and want to play the game. But here you have, for example, if you open a section here, you get parts of the book in a digital um, searchable text kind of way. One gripe I have with the Foundry, or maybe there is a plugin for it, but if I open several um, sections here, they are opened as, as separate windows and you have to close each one of them. It's a, it's a bit uh, cumbersome, I think, but maybe there is a plugin for it. Probably there is a pro plugin for it because there are thousands of plugins you can you can uh, install to fix small things in, in the system. It's very flexible. All right, that was the journal entry. Is there anything else here I want to show? No. That's that's it. Here you have the roll tables. The roll tables are like back end roll tables that when you roll things on your character sheets or anything else, these are activated because the system needs to know what to roll. So for example, if you roll environment, this is this is more back end stuff that you don't have to mess with. Probably you you can add your own roll tables if you want uh, to have a specific roll tables. Otherwise, these are the results and the dice rolls that you get when you roll a uh, dice somewhere else in the module. Then we have card stacks. There is nothing here because there are no cards inside this core rule book of um, Mutant Year Zero. Playlist, if you want to add music, there is nothing in the module. And then here you have the compendium pack. And this is more or less the all the documents that are included inside the module. One thing we have here that's kind of interesting is the Mutant Year Zero Sona Generator. And that's under MYZCB macros. Here you have the Sona Generator. If you need to um, generate a zone for your players to explore, you can open this and click on Execute Macro. And on this macro, you can name the zone, for example, Sector 34. And uh, the rot level, you can make that random. And the threat level, let's let's keep it as it is. And then you generate a journal entry. You generate a journal entry. Sector 34, scrublands. Ruin, no. Threat, yes. Artifact, no. Rot level, one. Weak rot. The PCs suffer one rot point per day spent in such sectors. And then the threat level one, automation, threats one, automation, or automaton, sorry. And then checkpoint, a roadblock from the final dying days of the old age. Could there be useful scrap here? So you have generated a sector for your characters to explore. That's really nice. And uh, if you click this automaton, that is uh, the threat in this sector you get the uh, stats from this atom automaton. And then you can uh, probably modify it to your heart's content. And this sector is automatically saved in your, yes, you guessed it, in your journal entries. As you see down here, here, if you, all the, zones you create or you generate they are um, they are uh, saved here so you can use them inside your adventures i think that was it um 
then there is some general stuff in the uh, uh, foundry virtual tabletop module that i won't go over but um generally that was it as you can see here also uh the sector that you generated is is uh is shown here and uh, it, all things generated here is not shown to all players this says the game master so i think it is configured so when you generate things it's not publicly shown to all the players but all the players stuff that they do uh, and the roles they do they they can be uh they can be they are shown here you can for example also in and this is not uh, the module mutant module but you can make private roles and the self role and blind gm roles and private gm roles here and the, those are shown to you here and in, in this chat log but there it's not shown to the to the players well that was it i hope you liked the video and had some use for it and i hope to see you in my next video have a nice day. See you.